In this video, we're going to have a look at how to burnish leather work. What does it mean and what does it mean for your project? That's coming up. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel, you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. So by burnishing, what I'm referring to is we now have a, um, a pretty reasonable surface here, but I want to make it look a lot better. So I like to rub some beeswax down the side and then I use a, a burnishing tool. Now you can get motorized burnishing tools. Uh, I believe Tandy sells them for instance. Uh, I personally don't think they're necessary for me at this stage. Um, I'm probably more of a novice than anything um, and I'm okay with that. We're all learning. I don't think anyone's really a true expert in anything. I think if you're truly honest with yourself, yeah, we're all learning. Anyway, um, this just gives you a really nice finish on the sides. It really brings it up, brings it um, a bit of extra detail and as I say, really sort of pushes out your pride in your work and I think that's really important. This can take a few minutes, so um, just allow yourself a bit of time. Now in terms of measurements for all the project like this, um, it's going to depend a lot on you. Uh, not only are we talking about the circumference of the, the wrist and lower in down into the um, towards the elbow, but uh, you're talking about the length. Now, uh, some archery clubs really prefer you to have a longer length um, archery bracer, some don't. So it really does depend on you and your technique. Uh, I think it also is going to depend a bit on the bow that you're, the type of bow that you're you're using. And when we're talking about um, the historical evidence for uh, archery gear, we know archery goes back many many thousands of years. Longbows are thought to go back possibly as far as, I guess. Um, 30,000 years, I've, I've heard mentioned by some historians. Um, I'm not sure exactly what sources they've used for that. Alrighty guys, so that's burnishing done. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.